Nothing makes my mouth water more than the thought of tender, flavorful russet potatoes. So today, I'll be showing you how to cook wonderfully juicy potatoes that fall right off the bone. The first thing I'm going to do is prime the potatoes with my rub. This gives these guys a nice crust and enhances the flavor without adding moisture. It might be tempting to debone your potatoes, but those bones are actually adding flavor. Plus, you can save them and add them to soups and stocks later to get that rich tuber flavor. I can already tell there's gonna be no potatoes left on the bone once I'm finished with these babies. Don't be afraid to really get in there. To get those tender, bone-sucking potatoes, it's all about low and slow. Set the oven to 250 degrees and cook for six to eight hours, depending on the size of your potatoes. Little Hess family flavor secret. About four hours in, inject some Tabasco mixed with molasses right in the middle of each spud. You'll thank me later. So these guys have been cooking for a little more than seven hours, which means the connected tissue holding the potato flesh to the bone is almost completely broken down. And it also means it's time to add the barbecue sauce. Smother these potatoes in your favorite sauce and then put them back in the oven for another 30. Now comes the hardest part, waiting. Other than a hearty appetite, the only thing you'll need to bring to this meal is a napkin to tuck into your shirt. But hey, don't be afraid to get your hands dirty going to town on these succulent spuds. These look perfect. Oh my, mm. you can really taste the juices from the bone. Look, you don't even need a knife. The potato falls right off the bone. I'm gonna look every little bit of starch off my fingers too. I could die right now. <laughs> Until next time, I'm Jillian Hess.